Hi, it's Carrie. I am here today. I am going to share some journals that I've made. Um, this is more on the art journal side. Junk journals. Um, yeah, this is more an art journal, junk journal. Or collage book, glue book. This first one is made out of some jelly printed file folders I did and I did a hidden binding and it's um so it's got like an inside cover this part is like one book and then it's got an outside cover so and then it's also got one, two, three, four, five signatures. Um, they're smaller signatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages. So not much at all. I just made them smaller because I wanted more of a variety and I wanted to fit more of the file folders in because each signature has the covers are fi the file folders. And, um, yeah, so I just jelly printed a bunch of file folders. I got this idea from, I think, Je Jenny Belly, Jenna Belly. Uh, she had made a video doing something like this. Um, and then I decorated the cover with, I got a vintage, like, uh, doily. If you can see that good. And then I have some, like, it's like tie-dyed seam binding running through for the closure. I have a piece of fabric here, this back piece. And then I got some do a piece of doily, some stickers, uh, some vintage music paper. This piece is, it's like a, it came, it was a, like a bag. Uh, and it's kind of like a canvas and I cut the butterfly off of it and I'm going to hang something from this bottom piece but I had glued it down so I got to cut it back open but I'm going to hang something from there and then I left the top of it open to be a little pocket if I want to slide something inside of it um, but yeah uh, this is an embossed little star here this is one of Tim Holtz butterflies. I just put some white gel pen on top. Got a vintage button. I got a punched flower. Some punched stars. This is a wooden butterfly at the top here. And yeah, I just did some doodling. And then I got washi. So yeah, it's a pretty mishmash of a, a cover, but I love it. I love how it turned out. I also have this uh, jewelry piece um, on the front. A uh, seam binding piece. And then I have another, like, star. Uh, I think it was a Christmas. It was a little pack of just embellishments that I had and a uh, I just tied it around the seam binding. I did some stickles. And yeah, I think that's about it. I have this sticker. It says free here. If you can see. I don't remember what the rest of it said. Oh, free design or something. I think it came off of a clothing tag. And then I got this. I put free on the top doily. And then it has your mind on the fabric. Piece, and then I put a piece sticker there, peace sign. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And then this is the front, the inside. I sewed around it too. And um, yeah, like I said, I did the hidden binding. I just glued, the, you can see it's coming apart a little bit, but I just got to re-glue that back down. And then I did the three-hole pamphlet stitch. 
anyways on this part. I don't know if you can see the seam there, but yeah. So this will be the outside cover, and this is the inside cover, and this is the start of her signature. And I used magazine that I had jelly printed. It says, oh, beautiful. I just thought it was neat. And then just some other... Uh, I got some of these pages I throw in my junk journals. A piece of acetate I had tried printing on. Um, some of it stayed on there, but some of it rubbed off. If you can see that, there's some butterflies and flowers. It's just um, a print I had found and printed on there. And then I have some Tim Holtz paper, some vintage map, uh, some vintage children's book, pages, uh, questions book. And then this is, that was the middle of the signature on the children's pages. So yeah, the signatures are small, but I wanted it like that just so I could fit more in here. So these are just the backs of all them ones. And then that's the end of that signature. This is the beginning of the next. I'm gonna put wanted to put something in the middle kind of to cover it up or to make it I don't know, stand out a little bit. I just like how it shows the middle of it. Ain't that pretty? I love these jelly printed file folders. I still have some pieces left over. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to make this a, like an art journal or a, I don't know. I just want to be able to do like some creative journaling in it. This was a, something I had gotten in the mail uh, for insurance, I guess. But I just thought it looked cool. With Statue of Liberty. And some more children's dictionary pages. This is some vintage, uh, that practice paper for, uh, children. This is, uh, an old, I don't know if it'll say the day. I don't know how to read the date because it's in, yeah, I don't, it don't say, but it's a vintage envelope. I had gotten a bunch of, a whole pack of them from uh, my antique shop that I go to. This is vintage ledger. It's just plain, nothing written on it, but I liked it because it's different. The yellow color, I don't, didn't have that color, so use that. This is some vintage music paper, and that's the middle of that signature. And then the other side of everything. Yeah, it's um Germany, so that's why I couldn't tell the date on that. But yeah, I just thought that was neat. They were just the blank envelopes. They didn't have, like, letters or nothing in them. But yeah, I got a whole pack of them from uh, the shop I go to. So that was pretty cool. And that's the end of that signature. Look at the pretty prints. I love it. I used uh, Martha Stewart, uh, like the pearl paints, and then some metallic paints, and then regular paint too, but I just love the colors, how it turned out. This is a uh, vintage wallpaper that I have. I like the, how the back's already yellowed. This is vintage music paper. I think it's like from a Bible, but it's in a different language as well, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I love it. I love the texture of it, the feeling of it. This is more uh, vintage children's dictionary pages. And this is, I don't know, it came from a vintage book and it's like a cartoon. I'm not going to read it all, but I just thought it looked cool in here. This is vintage costumes from the Renaissance book that I have. Uh, another jelly printed map. And then that was the middle of that signature. And then flip through the other sides. Yeah, I just like the look of the cartoon. And then that's the end of this signature. And then we got two more to go. But yeah, I just, I loved uh, Jen, Jenny Belly's video 
on making hers. She made hers different, but I love how my mine turned out as well. Vintage dictionary. I love the little pictures on it. Sorry if this lighting is a little bit weird here. More of his children's children's questions book. More of that vintage music paper. I think it's Latin that it's in. Is that other language? I just love the feeling of it. This is uh, some jelly printed ledger. Um, this is a paper bag that I had glued some Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper and then some tissue paper that I had made. And I stamped on the bag as well. And then a coloring book page, and that's the middle of that signature. one. This has the date. You can circle some Tim Holtz paper. Jelly printed uh, ledger that I had printed. And this is Latin. Another Latin book. This is a vintage. I can't think of the name of it. But um about children. I, I can't think of the name of it right this minute. If I can find it, I'll put it in, but or put it on screen. And then this is a vintage, just like a ledger. Um, but it's from the electric company in this area from 1937. And I have a bunch of these. I want to put some in my Etsy store that I have um, created, but I haven't um, published yet or made open yet. This is a vintage book that I have to oh, child craft. That's what it's called. Yeah, that was the middle of the signature there. The child craft books, I love them books. But yeah, look at all the pictures. This is the other side of that. Look at that. The print in it. This is neat. So these are all the other sides. And then the end of my book. The end of the signature, the end of the book. And this back side I left open as a pocket. So yeah, that was um, inspired by Jenny Belly, like I said. I'll link her below. Below, If I can find the video, I'll link that too. But um, yeah, this is one um, art journal or junk journal that I made um, to plan. I'll do this one next.